Hi everyone, I'm Gamesmith, and today we're going to go through the final part of our walkthrough of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, where we will defeat the Pokemon League champion, Cynthia. It's all come down to this. Cynthia is by far the hardest trainer you will come across in the main game. Prior to this, you have fought gym leaders and other trainers who specialize in a certain type. However, Cynthia has a diversified team, strategizes, and her final Pokemon, Garchomp, is a force to be reckoned with. Cynthia starts the battle with Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb has high defense and its ability Pressure increases your move usage by 2 per move. It's best to wipe it out as soon as possible. Hopefully you brought along a Pokemon that knows Fairy type moves since that is its only weakness. Roserade should be relatively straightforward. Use a strong fire, ice, flying, or psychic move to take it out. I would recommend using a special move instead of a physical move because of its ability Poison Point, which can cause poison if it comes into contact with your Pokemon. Gastrodon has relatively few weaknesses, but it is very weak to Grass-type moves. Give it a good smack with your best Grass-type move and you can take it out. Militic is a water Pokemon that has some strong moves. It carries a flame orb which causes a burn status effect on its health. Its ability Marvel Skill increases its defense when there's a status effect which makes it tough to take out in one move even if it's super effective. The status effect however won't occur until the second turn so if you can knock it out on the first turn it will be to your benefit. A strong electric or grass Pokemon will be great here. Just be aware that it does know the move Ice Beam, which can knock out your grass type. Lucario is a strong and fast Pokemon. It can raise its special attack with the move Nasty Plot. This will raise the power of its other three moves. Take it out quickly with a strong fighting, fire, or ground move, otherwise its moves can do heavy damage. Garchomp is Cynthia's final Pokemon and has earned a reputation for a reason. If you are not properly equipped to handle this Pokemon, then you will probably regret it. The faster you can take it out, the better. However, it can be difficult because of its high speed stat. Letting it hang around too long allows it to use the move Sword Stance, which sharply raises its attack stat. After 2-3 to three uses, it will be able to one-shot most, if not all, of your Pokemon. Garchomp is 4 times weak to Ice, so it is a solid strategy to have one or two Pokemon on your team that know an Ice move. If not, Dragon and Fairy moves are also super effective. If you find yourself in a predicament where Garchomp is faster than most of your Pokemon and eliminates them in one hit, keep reviving your Pokemon until it runs out of moves and has to use Struggle. While not the most eloquent solution, it will work as long as you have enough healing items. Note that Cynthia has four full restores, so she can try to wait you out as well. If you haven't guessed, the name of the game in this battle is taking her Pokemon out as soon as possible. Her Pokemon are built to survive a long onslaught, so the faster that you can take them out, the better it's going to be for you. Now that you have bested the best in the league, you are now the champion. Congratulations on defeating Cynthia and completing the main quest of the game. There is still a lot of things you can do in the post game, so you can look forward to more videos on those. If this walkthrough has helped you, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you have any suggestions or tips on how you took on Cynthia, please leave them below so everyone can benefit. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.